Hey, welcome to Baumgartner Ranch. How to enjoy your wine. Well, this episode's on our cows ruining your wine experience. Hang in. We'll get right on that. All right, our cows ruining your wine experience. Well, this comes up because of the uh, methane. Well, here's the thing. Cows put out about 85% out of the rear, out of the front end, and the remainder goes out the rear end uh, because of their stomachs and the way the digestive system works. Okay, what does this have to do with wine? You say, Steve, tell me about that. All right, well, methane. You've heard of the greenhouse effect, warming up the environment. Um, yeah, um, that probably is a contributor to that along with uh, industry, along with um, uh, cars. Uh, here we go, here's a, we have industry, other forestry, transport, buildings, um, you know, later, I would say agriculture. So cows are part of the agriculture, as you can see here, it's only 9.4%. Uh, it looks like our biggest influences are industry, other, transportation, building. So. I'm not going to go into this really in depth records. Um, the earth goes through a lot of changes. Usually that takes billions of years and so on. Um, what we're seeing potentially also, the earth goes through nice changes. You know, we've had pole reversals, we had, you know, where the magma flips over and the magnetic north becomes south and so on. Um, well, right now, it has been documented by scientists that the earth is going through a warming trend. That's the earth itself, the magma. It moves. So you have hot magma moving around and so on, which can cause surface level changes. Okay, so that is also gonna warm up the northern or the colder regions where the ice is gonna cause ice meltage. Uh, which is every time you have ice melting, you're gonna have thawing of the land, you're gonna have methane coming in. So yes, methane is one of the major contributors to the greenhouse effect how it's happening <laughs> yes i can't put the blame on cows uh it's a contributor uh, along with these other things but and we can't change mother nature which is the earth how it acts and reacts how it changes to um, uh, i would say global so much it's how we affect it it's more of a cosmic thing how the sun how the moon how the other uh photons and all those other things, space stuff, it all affects. And those things we have no control over. All right, so how is that gonna affect your enjoyment of wine? Well, wine is normally in regions that were warm and dry. They seem to do best in those growth period areas. So you're talking in France, talking in uh, uh, some parts of uh, Australia, and now uh, in you know, California, things like that. Uh, a little history on that. In 1935, I guess it was the U.S. started making records of uh, regions. What were the typical um, characteristics that were good for wine grape growth? We all know that California had uh, California raisins and had table grapes. Totally different growth uh, mechanisms than it is for wine. So by doing these studies since 1935, uh, found out that regions of California, uh, the valleys, some of the coastal areas, they all had the uh, warm and dry for growth, and then they had the um, uh, overcast, which is good after the grapes were already on, which cut to slower the, uh, um, I guess you say, maturation of the grapes themselves. If it's cooler, you'll get a better taste and aroma. If it's too hot while the grapes are on the vine, it'll cause uh, degradation of the uh, taste and the flavor and the uh, fruitiness and so on. It takes just the heat will just take it all away. So you want a slow um, grape uh, harvest time. So the longer, kind of the better. 
Now you just got to be careful that you get too much overcast, too much uh, moisture, you'll get rot. Uh, prior to that, you'll get um, it's too wet, so that's why you don't see things down in the uh, um, tropical re regions because it's very wet and too hot. So what'll happen is you'll get that rainfall, and you get all that moisture, which will cause a lot of bugs, which eat the vineyard. Uh, you get a lot of rock, a lot of um, all that. Uh, Fungus will also destroy it. So you can't go too south and you can't go too north. There's a huge region right in the middle. Uh, I forgot what the latitudes are, I didn't write them down. But uh, California's right in there and uh, the terrain is right. Uh, in the uh, Napa Valley, you're going to get a lot of uh, flavor from the hills drifting through and the lakes going in. So it's very fertile and it's actually very good for that type of wine. So, what's going to happen? When things warm up. So it's not going to destroy the, um, the wine industry. It will move the wine industry. So areas like uh, Australia, uh, even California, who are already very arid and dry, will move towards the cooler regions. So they're expanding. So we're talking uh, thousands of years. Uh, yeah, you're going to have some changes. Uh, the warmer areas like in France get probably the less flavor and stuff they're going to have on their their wine. Uh, but in our lifetime and our generations coming up, we'll probably never even notice it. Um, probably by doing a, a, a chemistry test, yeah, you can figure it out. Um, so it's, it's really not going to get rid of it. It's just going to change it. You know, unless we have a catastrophic event, and at that point, I think wine is on the bottom of our list of things we got to deal with. I think more like a, where we're going to get our food and our water. So that's where that is. I mean, I could give you more information on um, uh, what regions are good, CO2 levels. Uh, enjoy your wine. Don't worry about the global warming. There's other things to deal with. And uh, don't blame the cows. Uh, blame your car. Blame your refrigerators. Blame all the stuff that we have as humans that we contributed to it. So the majority of the problem. Not the earth was covered with animals at one time. You know, maybe that's what happened with the uh, dinosaurs. They farted themselves out of existence, <laughs> which caused uh, I don't know how that worked because it causes warming. That was an ice age. So uh, maybe it was the opposite of farting, but they uh, infarted instead of outfarted. I don't know. So um, anyway. Don't worry about it, enjoy your wine uh, for years and years and years and uh, on. So uh, any questions on that, let me know. And uh, remember to subscribe, um, hit the bell, and uh, I also have a podcast. And you'll see that on my uh, description. Um, there you go. So uh, enjoy your wine, I'm gonna enjoy my wine.